Are you kidding me? Hey y'all, it's All of Destiny, and in this video, I'll be doing a start to finish glueless wig install. This video is sponsored by Hair VV, so special thank you to Hair VV for sponsoring this video. So this is the box. I haven't opened it up yet, but inside I do have the wig, and they also sent me an edge brush. I also have some hair clips, as well as the Hair VV fly away timer. And of course, we have the instructions and all of the details. All right, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Oh, phone ringing. Who is this? Hello. Yeah, I can hear you now. Uh, I'm currently finna put this wig on my head to do my makeup. Besides that, yeah, I'm looking look at a little crazy currently. Yeah. Yeah, we can. It's the we can. It's, let me not be wretched, okay? I should be done with all of this probably within like. It don't matter to me. I'm gonna text her and see uh, exactly what time she getting off. Oh, this gonna be easy to put on. This wig looks very good. This is a 10 inch blunt cut bob. All of the specific details will be in my description box down below. Comb in the bag, the large comb that I'm gonna tuck underneath my flat twist. These are the adjustable straps. So I'm just gonna move these in. I may or may not, I don't think I wanna glue this down. Y'all know me, I like to come in after a long day, snatch my wig off. <laughs> I'm gonna move the adjustable straps inward. It's like clasped on the end right here. So I'm gonna just untuck that, pull it, move it towards the center. And you can change it if you try it on and realize you don't like the way it fits. So this is the adjustable band right here, or the elastic band, and I can slide this in and out to tighten it as well. I'm gonna leave it about here for now. In the front, we have a side comb and another side comb. A lot of YouTubers have been talking about the fact that it's kind of not necessary to have this middle comb. So a lot of companies have been listening to us and they've removed that. We got a middle part of the attached stocking cap already right here. So basically, I'm just gonna put it on. That's really all I need to do is just put it on. And I finally figured out which reel I'm gonna do, so we're good on that as well. I'm gonna try it on before you remove any of the lace. I'm gonna use got to be. Got to be glued. This is not Gorilla Glue, this has got to be glued. But they call it got to be glued because of how strong the gel is. It's just a gel, it's not a glue at all. And this will rinse right out. It's not like super permanent or anything. And I guess I'm just going to um, voice over the rest of this. I'm pretty sure voice over Destiny doesn't mind doing her thing. I'm going to let her chat with you all for a while today. How are you so sure that I don't mind? Hello, hi, voice over Destiny here. <laughs> <laughs> Nevertheless, taking a scrunchie, I'm just going to put that over my flat twist. I decided to do flat twist instead of braids. Y'all will see that in a separate video. I'm going to hold the wig by the adjustable strap and just slide this over my head and use that to also hold down my twist for me. Pull it down in the back and tuck that comb underneath. Then, just kind of pull and adjust everything. So that comb that I showed you all, I'm just going to tuck that right underneath my twist. That's going to help it from sliding back. A lot of y'all be asking me all the time, like, how you keep your wig from sliding back? If you're using the combs, it won't slide back. Go ahead and cut off the lace using some scissors. I'm not cutting off all of it, just enough to get it out of my view. And then after that, I'm going to take a razor and this will help me to um, trim the lace even further. I'm going to use my Nairobi Rapid Shine Foaming Lotion. This will help me to kind of mold the lace to the shape of my head without gluing it down. That way when I come in tonight or whenever I'm ready to take off this wig, I can easily do that and it's not like glued down for an extended amount of time. And the razor also helps you to not have a perfectly straight line. Straight lines are very noticeable when it comes to lace, so the razor helps with it. Shout out to all of my subscribers for putting me on to that technique. So I'm gonna separate out some baby hair and using the Nairobi Foam and Lotion again, just to help me further define the middle part that was already in the wig. And using the foam and mousse helps me to kind of move the hair in the direction that I want it to go until I'm ready to reach for the flat iron. I'm using the Gatsby Glue Blasting Free Spray just to kind of spray that along the lace. This will help to hold it down. And then I'm going to go ahead and tie the hair down. This is sort of like a um, like a wig grip, but I don't use it for that purpose. It just helps me to kind of mold the hair. I'm going to go ahead and trim the baby hair down some to also get that out of my view. And while I wait to allow things to sit for a while, I'm using my new me flat iron just to get out the shipping kinks from this wig. further flatten down this product space, I'm using my 
um, Annie press and comb. I got it from the beauty supply store. I'll link it for you all down below. So that should give me a good amount of time. Let's begin working back with the hair. I'm just going to do a little bit of plucking, not too much since I do want to show you all Hair VV's new replaceable HD lace frontals. Um, so I'm just going to do a little bit and I'm using the edge brush that they sent along with my Nairobi foam and lotion. This will help me to kind of mold the baby hair. But the technique that I'm using is not really gluing it down. It just kind of shapes everything for me. And when I come home at night, whenever I'm ready to take this off day to day, I can definitely do that. And if you're like gentle enough with doing it, the baby hairs will still be in place when you're ready to sit this thing back on your head. That's what I love about a glueless method. This is the before and the after. I'm going to repeat that same process. And I'm just going to do a little bit more plucking. I was trying to kind of, you know, thin out the front portion just a little bit. Since I was wearing a middle part though, you really don't have to do this uh, with the middle part. But it's kind of covered anyway. So to define the middle part a little bit more, I'm going to use the tweezers and just kind of pluck out a little bit of the hair in that area. And of course, I'm going to finish off with some more of the foam and lotion. I forgot. I'm so used to reaching for foam and lotion that I forgot I had the flyaway tamer. But this method will help to flatten the top portion down even more. And I'm just going to comb all of that into place and continue styling the hair to my liking. I think after this, I took a pause to film a makeup tutorial. It is a girl chat motivational video on lots of different topics. Special thank you to everyone that has engaged and commented on that video uh, thus far. I'm so glad you all are enjoying it. If you haven't seen it yet, I'll link it in the description box for you all down below. So far, pretty good finishing up now. It sounds like my headphones disconnected. That's so annoying. Hang on a second. They're not gonna reconnect because they're trash. And of course, the parting space does look good, but we can always do more. Why not? I'm gonna take some concealer and just run that down the part. And girl, look, oh my God. She knew what wow. she was doing, letting voice over Destiny do her thing. Look at this, oh my God, it's the makeup. It's the yellow, melanin, it's popping. It is a look. Y'all, round of applause for this super cute and gorgeous bob look just in time for spring. I am absolutely loving it. So many people have been DMing me, complimenting me on this look. They was like, oh, this is giving grown woman vibes. And it very much is. Been a few days now and I'm going to show you all Hair VV's new replaceable HD lace piece. And if you've ever ruined the lace on your wig before, you might want to listen up right now. <laughs> so I'm going to swap out the front portion of my lace, but I want to show you all a little bit more about the wig first. If I didn't mention before, this is the Invisa Fake Scalp. Um, Hair VV introduced this in June of 2020. They upgraded the fake scalp into a durable and breathable single layer version. It's a translucent fabric basically and it perfectly melts into the skin with no harsh line. So I'm going to basically go ahead and get out the new replaceable HD lace. So this is how it comes. And it does feature the clean bleached hairline. It's a technique that makes the knots of the hairline look totally clean, undetectable. And it basically looks like it's growing from the scalp because it has like a nice transitional density. I'm gonna have more info about this in my description box, basically. So they sell the replaceable HD lace piece on their website, and you can basically buy the lace piece. You can send back in your wig that you've purchased from Hair VV, and Hair VV will um, cover the shipping fee, basically. It's going to be included in your lace order. So the reason that this comes in is super handy and it's like super cool, when they told me about this, I was like, wow, that's like super um, convenient. Sometimes when you over plug, or sometimes your frontals just start to lose more and more hair over time, sometimes you may over bleach, whatever the case may be, and you don't want to buy an entire wig from scratch because let's say your wefts are still Still in good condition so basically when you purchase this new replaceable HD lace piece you only just replacing that top portion and then your wig is as good as new so I have all of the information about this in the description box down below so I just quickly swapped mine out to show you all how this new method that hair VV is doing will go it's basically like having your 
having your wig reconstructed for you. You're gonna purchase the lace, you're gonna send it to Hair VV. Hair VV is going to do what you see me doing right now and then they're gonna ship it right back to you. And then you didn't even have to purchase an entirely new wig. What? Go ahead and cut off the old frontal portion and then you flip it inside out again and you'll have the new one on top. And voila, you don't have to buy an entire new wig from scratch, you'll be good to go. Wow, I literally was not recording, oh my God. I just cut this entire thing out and I was not recording. But basically I cut this part from underneath this part. So now this is what I have, a replaced frontal. And this is the other one. And I'm upset cause I thought I pressed record and I did not. But this is my first time doing any such thing and I think I did pretty good. All right, so here's an up close look at my new replaceable HD lace piece. So after you do that, you can basically just, you know, style your wig again from scratch. Um, I decided to do a side part. Are you kidding me? So, um, I'm going to use my new me curling ones. These are the messiest curls ever. Just grab a section, whoop, whoop, and hold. I don't do this with long hair since this hair is short. It's just something quick. Another section, Ooh. If it don't go all the way to the end, that's fine. You're just trying to get messy curls. It's not like a perfected look. Whatever it do, that's what it do. Um, Instead of using my got to be, I'ma just hit it with this little Dollar Tree hairspray. If y'all saw that video I did when I styled like an entire wig only using Dollar Tree products, that's where this is from. Okay guys, we made it to the next Dollar Tree. Dum dum dum. Girl, what else will I do with this? Y'all ain't got no moves. Hairspray. Okay, hairspray. Um, I put like two flexi rods in my hair and then I just tied it down for a quick little second just to kind of set everything in place. You can either do the straight look or you can curl it whatever you would prefer. And I decided to move the part but whatever Destiny probably said all of those things already. I decided to skip makeup since I've already had on makeup in this video. If you all did like that makeup by the way that was a separate girl chat video uploaded before this one so definitely check it out. Special thank you to Hair VV for sponsoring this video. All of the links to this wig and all of the extra details will be in my description box down below so Definitely be sure to check that out and I'll talk to you all in my next upload. A few flexi rods overnight will maintain the curls. And now it's time for my outfit of the night. Let's get into this outfit, baby. Like, my jeans are from a store in the mall called Hottish. If you live in Memphis, it's at the Wolf Chase Mall. I think they have an Instagram, I'll link it down below. My belt bag is Steve Madden. The jacket that I'm wearing is from Boohoo, but it's not like a new collection or anything. It's probably like two years ago when I did a collab with them. I'm just wearing a regular white tank top and then I put on my um, Betsy Johnson heels. Be sure to check out the pictures on Instagram. I think they look really good. Go over there and let me know what y'all think. Comment grown woman vibes when you get over to Instagram. If that way I know where you're coming from. Wow, look at this, I'll put you on speaker. Yeah, I absolutely love the way everything turned out. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Special thank you to Hair VV for sponsoring today's video. Questions and comments, leave all of that down below. And of course, I can't be all work and no play all the time. So since my hair was done, my makeup was done, I figured I would go ahead and get out of the house for a little moment. And I was able to get some really good Instagram photos. So definitely be sure to follow me on Instagram if you aren't already. I just, I don't know what you're doing at this point. Want to see how I did my makeup? Then definitely be sure to check out that girl chat video that I've mentioned. I've linked it for you all right here on the screen. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel because it's absolutely free to do so. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Share this video with a friend who you think will love it as well. And as always, I thank you all so much for watching.